All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our first map of this clan war between the Phantom Heroes and 3D Clan. Spotting at the top right side, we are going to look at a Protoss player who usually plays Zerg, but this time he chose Protoss 5.3k compared to a 6k Zerg. Let's see how he can actually fare against his opponent. This is going to be Scandi Kane, or Scandi for short, for short, as opponent for the 3D Clan. A 5.6k Terror player. Let's see if he can actually prove that MMR is not just a number. This is Lord GG. Which is, by the way, an interesting stat about Lord GG that I looked up is... Um, he is 5.6k with both Protoss and Terran. Which is quite impressive in my opinion. So, Scandi is going to come in and just harass this SCP with the probe. Obviously, it's not going to be uh, too big of a deal. It's going to lose the shield and going to try and pretend that he's going away. <laughs> not going to be the case. Reaper is in production. Second Depot will block the path of that probe. Double gas opener, of course. Oh, and Scanty did not scout that. He's going to scout it now. All right, there we go. Uh, obviously, if, even if he didn't scout, he would have seen by the timing of the of the factory let's see if he's gonna go for a recall or not i'm curious maybe he's gonna go for a recall yep that is gonna be indeed the case nexus on the way as well as cybercore finishes obviously cybercore before the nexus so nothing should be too surprising uh should pretty much eliminate the potential options of lord gg that he has off of the off of the two gas openers Usually it's going to start with some kind of Reaper Hellion, uh, but we've already seen the reactor onto that uh, barracks, so I'm curious. I am curious indeed, let's see what's going to happen. And Lord GG opts to go for the low ground pylon, and there's a, a Cyclone actually. Uh, there was a Hellion started, but then he changed his mind to be a Cyclone. There's going to be two Marines. And I suppose they're going to see a starport as well at some point. And then potential death. There it is. And maybe it's going to be like a, a double medevac drop, a single medevac drop with like marines and the cyclone. Or maybe it's going to be two cyclones. Let's see what's going to be the um, the style that Lord GG will go for. Now this adept has dealt with this reaper, which is actually quite nice on the side of Scandi. Scandi game obviously very solid player. Glad to have him in our uh, in our clan in our team. I would rather. By the way, I would rather see uh, the Scandi Canes Zerg in action because you know six K Zerg is like <laughs> quite solid. Let's be honest. And I'm a Zerg player. I have Zerg bias. So in the meantime, uh, we got a bit of damage onto this cycle. Let's see what this push is going to look like because this is. Looking to be some kind of a, a single medevac push with potentially three cyclones and a handful of marines, maybe. I'm trying to read what the the play is going to look like. I don't see any ebays, I don't see a quick third command center, so this is not really going to be anything uh, super economical. Obviously, you need to be kind of aggressive with the two gas opening. Alright, bit of a, a drop incoming, most likely. I wouldn't be surprised if that goes to a separate location. Now, of course, this observer will cross paths with potentially both. Okay, sees everything. Nice. Sees the medevac as well. Now, you don't see what's in the medevac on the certain observer or the Terran itself. Scandi's blink is not yet done. It's gonna try and micro back the injured stalkers. Oh, he's gonna get one stalker picked off. Kind of unfortunate. But one of the Cyclones is super, super low, one of them is bruised, and obviously uh, Stalkers outrange Marines, so needs to be very, very careful. So Scanly cannot actually snipe these Marines for free. These have no sin, so to be very, very careful. Blink is going to finish, but not before that Stalker goes down. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if the Stalkers would just, like, chase uh, the, Terran, the Terran army all the way home, so... Uh, let's see if Scandi will show the blink or not. 
At this point, he doesn't need to. Now he's going to show it. Beautifully blinking back the injured soccer's. Nice blink Michael here on the side of Scan Kane, but he's gonna still lose two stalkers. Let's see, he's gonna blink all of them back. We try to do some damage. So overall, I feel like it was somewhat of an even trade. Uh, but let's see what. Uh, well, yeah, not exactly. <laughs> Scan Kane got the the worst uh, the worst outcome out of that trade. Ooh, actually, I, I felt like it wasn't that bad of a trade, to be honest, like, uh, at first glance, but by the looks of it, this is even worse than I thought. Now, I like the, the vision that Scandy has over here. So, Scan coming up. The charge is going to be the follow-up after that blink. Let's see. See, do we have a robo? We have a double forge. Oh, we have a robo. Oh, we have it in natural. Okay. So, nothing too out of the ordinary. The, the double forge is going to make it uh, a lot more uh, doable once it kicks in. Obviously, two upgrades instead of just one. It's going to make it uh, a lot more appealing for, for any player to actually take a fight. On the other side, we're gonna have a single eBay on the side of Lord GG. And yeah, I don't see any other eBay. So there's just a single one. And we have three Raxes. And how many do we have? Oh, only three Raxes. Okay. Well, I suppose there's going to be more because I see some vacant uh, add ons there. Double medevac job will move out towards the top side and potentially going to the main. But Scanny is going to be aware of this because of that observer. Beautiful observer positioning. Let's see. Yep. That is exactly where the medevac is going to, to pass. Now we have a couple of these zealots coming in. And charge is done. Seven zealots are going to be warped in. The third command center will not even go down. That is actually even better for Scanny because that would obstruct movement. So actually mess with the AI let's see what he can actually do a couple of marauders will get surrounded but uh, well, potentially never mind <laughs> a couple of SCVs will go down and these zealots are doing a lot of damage on the other side there's the double drop and the battery overcharge my god nothing has fallen on the side of Scandi Kane at least for now let's see how that is going to work out something in the natural as well just for good measure it's gonna unpower that robo there's nothing to be uh, chronoed out of that anymore. Okay, medevacs are moving across the map and everything is moving across the map. This might just be an all-in position for Lord GG. Let's see if he just commits to it. Pylon will have to finish. We have a Robo Bait, but we don't have any Colossi. There's two Immortals, though. Those Immortals are really going to be able to clean up these, this line of tanks. And if those Immortals target fire the Marauders, they will actually just clean everything up. Mines are actually burning. Let's see. Scandy will try to blink away. But 10 workers fall once again. And these Zealots are running rampant in this main of the Terran. This is looking absolutely devastating on the side of Lord GG. And now Scanicane takes a fourth base. Just, uh, you know, expanding that lead even further. Now 32 workers remain for the Terran. The Terran base is in shambles. And 1-1 one, one is finished. Disruptors are going to be the choice. And the Dark Shrine and the second Robo, so... Scandicane is looking to tech up and deal a final killing blow. Let's see if he can actually do something here. There is a third command center finishing. Oh, relatively soon. Refinery has to be taken once again. Let's see if this uh, prism will go in. Okay, a couple of mar uh, marines will actually stay here. Just to make sure that this prism doesn't do any bad stuff. Oh. Scandi will. Oh, that is smart. He's actually going to go into the natural. This is brilliant. In the meantime, the natural is getting cleaned up of bio. And all the SCVs have been pulled from this mineral line. And this is looking absolutely terrifying for our Terran player. And there's the GG. Scandi Kane will take the first map of this clan war. Beautifully played.
our second game of this best of five clan war match is going to be a protoss versus protoss pvp action on ghost server and we're going to kick it off with our platinum heroes representative he is the russian variation but he's also art and his opponent for the 3d clan rocking that sexy remastered nexus i actually love that nexus to be honest it looks so great well it is none other than cougar so for those who don't know the reason why i said it's a russian variation is because there is a polish art as well uh, polish art is Oh, I believe they are basically around the same MMR. I mean, I know Art is a 6,000 MMR, or at least around that, something along those lines. I'm not sure about Polish Art, to be honest, right now. Cougar, I believe, is around 5, 5, 5, 6, maybe. But I'm not sure. I, I kind of looked them up, and they're pretty much around like 5, 6, 5, 7. Which is impressive, honestly. And I am, I'm very happy that... That I managed to, to cast this amount of, like, high-level games. In the meantime, we're gonna have double gateway open on both sides. Art comes in, tries to harass a tad bit. Cougar will most likely do the same. Yep, that is indeed it's gonna happen. Art will try to deal with it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> this probe is not really going to do anything anymore. Poor guy just got clipped between, like, a couple fellow probes. You know, it's like, why do we attack our own? No, that's not your own. Look at him. He's different. He's different indeed. This one is, like, less, less like you. <laughs> I think it's a, the remaster probes, by the way. So, Cougar rocking the remastered set, pretty much. Nice canceling. This is the purifier, by the way. So, double stalker versus stalker sentry. Um, sentries are a bit more reliable right now in PvP. Because they actually deal more damage to shields, they are not tagged as light units anymore. Okay, Art will move back its Stalker. Let's see, first shot dealt onto Art's... <laughs> onto Art's uh, Stalker there. But look at that, already the shields have been gone down. Cougar is less, a lot less active. Yeah, I've seen that these players don't really play that much. Now, obviously, with these high-level players, there's the possibility of having, like, uh, more than one account. You know, just try-harding on one and playing tournaments on the other one. Something along those lines. But yeah, I've casted Cougar, like, possibly one or two times. And I remember it was a fun game, so I don't actually mind seeing it. I'm actually happy to see uh, any high-level player. Okay, force fields come down. Let's see if they can actually do something. The stalker might go down or the sentry. Okay, <laughs> everything survives for now. Double adept will come across the map for art. We're gonna have a immortal being chrono boosted. Do we have an observer zone? No, that's not gonna be the case. And blink is going to be the follow up for art. And three gates. Okay, so three gate and a robotics facility. And the Twilight Council on the side of Cougar, so a bit of a, a more interesting, probably, probably I would say, um, safer variation. Okay, it's gonna cancel. Cancels the shade. Obviously, you don't really want to, like, sacrifice your deaths. Oh, you might have to finish that shade. It's gonna most likely finish that shade. Oh, beautifully taking down Cougar is doing a lot of good moves over here and art just move commanded the adept possibly into the pocket of that mineral line or between the two mineral patches okay art 
with the scouting hallucination. And this... This map is like pretty much neck and neck so far. Resources lost is a bit in favor of Cougar. Losing a single unit. Which is gonna be... Oh, and yeah, a bit of... Uh, probably a bit of minerals with the cancels, right? Most likely. Alright, potential third base coming up for Cougar. Oh, that blink forward was kind of ambitious. Though, sees the, sees the two immortals, so... It's gonna know that. He needs to be very careful. Oh, <laughs> snipes from one of these stalkers. And Art so far is actually not doing the best. Uh, let's see what his his response is going to be to this third base of Cougar. Does he know? Yeah, he knows. Oh, three mortals. This is looking scarier and scarier. And the fact that there's like a third base as well makes it even more scarier. Like there's no third base on the side of Art. There's this immortal coming up. Okay, third base is <laughs> not present here. And there's a dark shrine coming up for Cougar. Of course, a couple more gateways on both sides would be nice. Uh, obviously, Cougar has that uh, third base, so it's gonna have uh, less minerals in the like for spare gateways. That dark shrine is going to be quite big, in my opinion. Oh, and I actually like this. So we've been seeing this quite a lot. Art goes for a... Oh my god, he goes for a proxy nexus. This is absolute banger. This is an absolute banger, guys. So we've seen quite a lot of this um, Stalker Sentry Immortal Adept with Glaives. Now, add the DTs on top and you got all the harassment all day every day oh my god no way oh this is so painful on the side of art uh oh this could be very devastating actually a couple force fields will block off everything there the battery overcharge will be activated and will make sure that nothing will go down glade and plus one and look at that art is also going for blaze but is it gonna be too late? That's the question. A couple of uh, stalkers will go down. Oh, he might actually have to recall, but I think it's gonna be too late. He's gonna lose too much. Okay, let's see where the DTs are going to come into play. That's the question. Oh, Art might actually pick up a couple of these units here. That's not bad. Absolutely not bad. Oh, but he's not target firing. There we go. He's target firing both the Immortal and the Stalker. In the meantime, there was something. Oh, there we go. There was a couple of these uh, <laughs> these units here. Oh, and he scouts the DT as well. Do we have... Oh, we don't have anything to, to detect with. Art has a decent shield back account there, but he needs to fall back to that shield back account, right? That's how it works. Oh, he needs to be careful. He might actually fall back too far. Oh, and he's not in position for the shield battery. That is what is going to protect him right now. He's going to try to go back a bad bit. Oh, but it's not in range of that immortal. The immortal will be dogged on. Literally just sniping it instantly. Just blowing it up. But is this going to be enough? I don't think so. Do we have anything? Six workers have on the side of Art. Now... This is looking like a uh, decent position for Cougar, I would say. There's still an Immortal, a couple of Stalkers, but oh, never mind. A couple of Probes rolls around that Immortal. We'll pick it up into the prison, but the prison goes down. And now Art is actually having a bit more. And he's going to chase. He is going to chase. Did we have any DTs? No DTs yet, by the way. We had no DTs. At least not for now. And the Sharper on the way for Art. We don't have charge on these Zealots, by the way. Which is quite a bummer. Okay, Art with the Prism in position. Gonna warp in two Adepts over there, most likely, right? Yeah, that is indeed going to be the case. 
He's gonna back with his uh, with his stalkers, and then we might just uh, try to sneak in with these adepts. Let's see. It's gonna shade in. Does Cougar realize what's happening? Save. Yep, he does. Art is going to finish this shade. He's going to take down a couple more workers as Cougar is moving forward. Going to get charged as well. And plus one only now started. Just now started for Art. In the meantime, well, Cougar is not exactly ahead in workers anymore, so... That's a slight relief for Art, but let's see if he has anything to do with Cougar's army. Half of the soccer is going to blink forward. Or half of the army, rather. Let's see, where's the recall coming from? Oh, the disruptors are going to fire, but nothing found just yet. Oh, and there's, oh, there's no detection anymore. He needs to be very, very careful. Oh, needs to be very, very careful. He has, uh, he has cannons. Does he have cannons in the natural? No cannons in the natural yet. Or at least one cannon. Observer is being remade. He needs to be careful not to actually lose those observers randomly. Because a couple of BTs could just knock out his front door. And then he would have nothing to do against them. And I love that we have seen zero. Oh, we ha we've seen a single DT. We've seen a single DT, guys. Never mind. <laughs> Cooper is going to warp in a couple of uh, defensive stalkers over there. Uh, which is a bit of a, a W, right? Because Art actually just uh, forced a couple of stalkers to stay at home. Oh, and DTs are going to be warped in. Let's see. Uh, the cannon is not in range in the meantime. Oh, the soccer ball will actually soften up that immortal battery overcharge is being popped. And there is no time to actually take it down. Oh, these DTs. Oh, they're going for the disruptor. Can they go for the disruptor? They're going to go down most likely, right? Yep, that is indeed going to be the case. But once again, Cougar tries to attack into this entrenched position. Now he's moving forward, sniping one, sniping two immortals, sniping a lot of those stalkers and a lot of those zealots. It's going to blink half of the army back. Will try to hit a disruptor shot, not going to get anything for his trouble. Okay, blinks forward once again. Where's the observer? Where's the observer of art? That's the question. He would be able to snipe this observer, which would be quite nice. He's not going to be able to do so, at least not yet. But he cleans it up. Now the resources lost is even. Well, sort of even. <laughs> I mean, we can say that it's even, right? It's just like what, if I calculate this correctly, just 100 shy of 25,000. Okay, let's see. A sandwich is in preparation right now. But maybe Ark has an escape plan. It's gonna start a step properly. It's going to blink half by half. Beautifully done here by our Russian Pro Dust player, Art. Oh, but now he's actually doing a couple of <laughs> problematic situations here, Cougar, with those DTs, and these DTs survive as well. Now Cougar is going for uh, a late game economy. Oh, Blink is done. Okay. This is interesting. Gonna start chipping away at those uh, production facilities. Let's see, Art needs somewhat of a, a huge disruptor shot. A couple of stalkers will be warped in. Oh, but he needs to put down a, another cannon, I believe. He needs another cannon. Oh, nice dodge on the shot. Art, I don't think Art knows about that. Oh, he doesn't even know about the fourth base. I mean, he can basically sense it you know he looks at the timer he's like yeah i should have a a fourth base at this point the problem is cougar's army supply is not higher the army supply are sorry the supply advantage is coming from the workers but art is plummeting uh, is, is dipping in supply right now and cougar is in prime position to actually secure this game it's not over yet. Oh, never mind. It is. <laughs> According to Art, it is. 
and Cougar will take an equalizer to make it one to one. Ladies and gentlemen, our third map is going to be Oceanborn, and representing the Platinum Heroes in this clan war, our Red Zerg, one of one part of the ZBZ. It's going to be Aristori, our Polish Zerg, around 5.9k MMR, something among those lines. And going up against him is going to be one of the youngest players in the scene currently, I believe. It is none other than a GG Machine. And GG Machine is actually quite solid. Uh, around 5, 5, 6, 5, 7. So these these numbers are, you know, just thrown, thrown up there. Stuff like that. <laughs> Don't worry too much about it. It's not that big of a deal. Now, the players are close at this point, so it's not really going to matter too much. At, at this level, I believe like two, three hundred um, MMR up until like 6k. Between like 5.5 five and 6k, it's not really going to be like that big of a, a difference. In terms of skill, it's like... A better week or or like a couple of days of like better games or, or worse games okay and we've seen a, a I believe it was a 16 pool I think it was a 16 pool and 70 hats so standard 16 pool opener by the looks of it and we're gonna have the six links plus the queen which is not really going to be that bad for our story I believe at least it shouldn't be GG Machine will send it literally under the Overlord of Aristori, so it's going to be uh, scouted and dealt with. Now, obviously, these players know the timings of, of everything. GG Machine will head literally, like, literally just ignores them naturally. And it's going to try to get a bit of lost mining time and just... Uh, until the links come out. Okay, let's see the link micro. The link micro will be super crucial here for both players. No baneness so far. Not yet, at least. Not a story is in just a super tad bit of an ad advantage. The queen can also help. Baneness is being placed on the side of our story. GG Machine is actually looking to take down at least a drone. Ooh, Aristori with a beautiful micro here. So far, so good for, for the Platinum Hero Zerg player. I would say this... Well, he lost two Zerglings versus six, so... If anything, that should be a, a mental victory. And this is interesting. We're going to have three gases being made here on the side of Gigi Machine. I'm curious. Okay, it's going to saturate three and three, and I believe it's going to put this one as well. Is this going to be some kind of, yeah, it's going to be a roach play. I, I'm taking notes, by the way, guys. I'm, I'm taking notes as well. How to win CVZs. 16 pool into three gas. Uh, 38. Probably 38. I would I would assume that it's 38. Um, oh, never mind. It's gonna be a yeah, 39. Okay, double evil and a lair, of course, and a third base. Now, Aristotle's third base is going to be much faster. That much we know. And I'm curious what his his path of uh, deck of choice is going to be. It's going to go for plus one missile and the roach horn, of course. Um, not far behind from from GG Machine's plus one, so quite nice. Let's see if I still can actually do something about these queens, but he's not going to be able to do so. In the meantime, how many queens do we have on each side? We have four queens on the side of GG Machine. Going to take down an overlord. Beautifully done there by our, our youngster. Okay. Roaches have been shown. So Aristotle suspects that this indeed might be uh, something 
something of a, a roach play. Honestly, wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> roach v roach. That's a ZVZ special. 100%. Okay, Overseer will scout. There's a bit of a changeling over here. Let's see if Aristori realizes that or not. Ooh, an Aspire. Okay. This is, uh, this is looking interesting. Not gonna lie. An Aristori on 50 workers. Oh, he needs to be very, very careful. Okay, he's not gonna let the Spire be scouted. And even got a supply block GG machine, so that's nice. Let's see if GG Machine has any instincts there. Any spidey sense is tingling. Or is he just going to make so many roaches that the mutas are really not going to matter at all? He's gonna try to go up to 66, which he achieves actually. And Aristotle is still staying on, on like a drone count of below 60. I'm not sure if this is like part of his style for this particular match or not. By the way, uh, the best of one format, not sure if you guys agree with it or not. I personally don't really like the best of one format because anybody can actually win a, a single match, right? Oh, uh, never mind. I mean, he saw it, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, the Spire is done. There's the Spores. There's the Hydroden. Six Mutas on the way. Let's see if he commits to more. Now, do I want to see Mass Muta? Uh, maybe. Do I want to see a transition into ground once again? Hell yeah. I, I think I do. <laughs> A couple of overlords will be sniped here. Ooh, and that's even going to supply block GG machine. One overlord starts now, two overlords starts now. And there's going to be a couple of queens potentially just going down. Let's see. There's a, not enough energy actually to do any kind of uh, anything about those, those mutas. The moots. Hello, Chicano. How's it going? Hope you're doing fine. Okay, creep is being sniped. It's so weird to see somebody spread creep in ZVZ. Uh, I thought that I'm I'm pretty much the one who does this because I love playing like Roach Highways and, and stuff like that. But looks like GG Machine has pretty much the same idea. Oh, <laughs> almost bioed his own stuff. Would have been absolutely devastating. Now, GG Machine is actually moving out. Oh, but if he attacks up this ramp, it's going to be quite devastating, in my opinion. Uh oh, a couple of Hydras will take down that Overlord. Now, in the meantime, uh, supplies are literally dead even. Sort of. Okay, he's gonna move and split against those vials. Oh, and Aristori is researching Tunnel Claws. I quite enjoy it when, when somebody does like coming to our roach plays. But let's see, the concave is not bad on the side of GG Machine. He has a decent concave, but he's actually going to be uh, going to have to be very, very, very careful. Because he's gonna play out units left, right, and center. He dipped in supply a bit. Lower than our story. He's gonna group up. I had two juicy overlords over here. Actually, four juicy overlords. Oh my god, in the meantime, these mutas are trying their best to actually clean up something. Two workers have fallen. A couple of lurkers will be the next play for GG Machine. Let's see what Aristori has in store for us. Burrow also on the way. Obviously, you need Burrow to actually use, um, use the Tundon Claws. Oh. Three moves forward. Oh, Bios on 
on top of the lurkers. Snipes a couple of those lurkers. Now the hydras are open. Oh, a couple of bios beautifully done here by Aristori. And the supply is plummeting on the side of GG Machine. It's getting wider and wider. That, that supply difference. But he's going to be able to survive and just clean this up. Oh, Aristotle Biles is on Overseer. That was quite painful, but it's not the end of the world. Of course, a couple of roaches will try to do something. 14 workers have fallen. And it's looking quite dire for GG Machine. Luggers did not manage to, to do pretty much anything. Oh, that Muta. Now, if you didn't know... The mutas have this little um, ability here, which if they are out of combat, look at that. Look at the regeneration on that muta. That's absolutely bonkers. It's gonna regen the. It's gonna regen the the HP on that muta. Oh, it's gonna go back in. You need to be careful. Okay, a bit of a push is gathering here on the right side. Oh, but actually G Machine has his army over here right now. Let's see, Bios will not connect. And Aristori at this point is uh, somewhat basically just feeding off his army to GG Machine. It's sort of a meat grinder, but in the meantime, we have a couple of roaches just tunneling car roaches, you know, burrowing, going on the ground, doing whatever they can. We pick up a couple of workers and Aristotle once again just moves across. Oh, nice uh, lurker spore uh, combination over there. In the meantime, a peace battle has condensed. Oh, Overseer is exposed, by the way. You need to be careful. Okay, never mind. Now he cannot really attack into lurkers unless he actually catches them, but it's not going to be the case. Now, obviously, you can actually buy all down lurkers while not having detection. Okay, ooh. Clips a queen. And that's 50, <laughs> 50 supply advantage for our uh, police zerg player. Now, obviously, there are slight chances to, to just pull this game back. That would be a comeback of a of all, basically. Okay, gonna clean up a couple of lurkers here and there. Just trying not to, to suicide all the army. Okay, what's the follow-up? Oh we have three three actually. Ooh, plus your missile is actually going to uh, finish right now, and that is quite uh, <laughs> quite scary. There's no hive. So I'm trying to push in to potentially um, potentially towards this base. Yeah. That is indeed going to be the case. So rather Biles would stop it, uh, stopping the top quite a lot, but he's going to need the Biles to exactly uh, escape. It's going to be freed, but the auto pathing. Oh, despite being danger right there, it's going to say that nope, that was totally safe. Just patient pay from our story. So hot in here, guys. It's it's absolutely killing me. Okay, it's gonna lose. Aristotle is gonna lose his third base. In the meantime, oh, the reinforcements are being caught. Oh, but there's no detection. Oh, is there? Oh, there is. Okay, it's gonna try to split to its best ability, but does he have it off now? The shoes on the other foot. This looks like an all-in from GG Machine. These roaches are being uh, trialed here to, to take down something, but it's not gonna happen. And by the looks of it, actually, GG Machine is pulling it back. Aristotle, all of a sudden, the shoe is on the other foot. And now, 
GG Machine is going to take this game. That means 3D Clan puts themselves in a prime position and a match point to win this clan war. It's not over yet, but this was a absolute banger of a CVC, honestly. And I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> hot King Larvas because based. Yeah. <laughs> You're Hot King Larvas, really? <laughs> he's Hot King Larvas to oh. for his overlords. Oh, oh, he's Hot he's King. Oh, I, I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes. Anyways, <laughs> we already, you camp. already heard of guys. So we have Heroku for the potential last <laughs> match in this climb war. Hopefully, we're going to have an ace match as well because it's been mm -hmm. a banger of a cast. So I'll let you do the honors for okay, okay, okay. our player. Top are you already bugging out? Is your internet already bugging out? Uh oh. Of course I lag. Oh no. Of course I lag. Let's go. Oh, okay, no. never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's redo this one. Yeah. <laughs> top right, top left, blue, four platinum euros. As the Zerg, it is Nikish. That is opponent for the 3D clan. You're gonna have a Death Mars as our Protoss player. I'm uh, curious what Nikic is going to play. I believe Nikic is around like 5'9. Uh, Ooh, that's really high. Okay. 5'9. I Death, mean, yeah, Death did you is like, playing? So. Yeah, I think I miss. I, I'm, I'm actually remembered incorrectly. I think our story was around GG Machines level like 5'6, five, 5'7. Five, I, mm -hmm. I tried to look up the MMRs, but obviously, uh, if if I don't like note them down or something like that, that's not really going to matter too much. Okay, so yeah, so we'll we'll look at like mid mid GM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like it, it's all the double already. So yeah, the good players, you know, good ones, actually, really good ones. So yeah. so far it's okay. been a banger. Yeah, completely standard so far. Nothing to say. Classic ZVP openers, where you can literally talk about Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Enough example until like seven minutes. Um, yeah, for the glowing speed, no complete pull out of gas. We are playing ultra standard from the oh, setting. Is it all and complete pull out? Uh, do you like to yeah, pull out? Pull out. Uh, pull yes, out completely. Entirely, or okay, yeah. so you pull out yeah, yeah. entirely. You can get uh, quick four queens, so you have four queens to defend the first oracle, and you can completely split skip fours. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and from Protoss, we have a complete standard. I believe this was a depth target warp gates. Uh, yeah. Into two of the second adept. We did the yeah, fake yeah, the awesome. shade and move out of the overload of the vision range, so you don't know if he crosses the map or not. Yeah, so forces a couple of links, most likely, and there it is. Mm -hmm. Another pair of links. Are we chronoing the oracle? I no, believe so I, I believe there should be a chrono, no? I mean uh, yeah, it depends on what you is. want to do. Yep. Okay, I we'll believe there was it. just no energy. I think there was no energy, because I see only yeah, thirty-five probably. energy on the net and yeah, that yeah, means he's spending yeah. his energy properly, because I always have energy for my Kronos. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah. you know also, how Arstam says, oh, you macro right too now. well. <laughs> Ooh. Surely. <laughs> okay, so Oracle into Void, Void Ray. Ray. And we're going to take a base of two Adepts after second gate. So we're playing pretty safe. Yeah, this is a, a super safe opener on the Protoss side. And pretty standard, oh, I would say, like... Base or spore position, by the way. Oh, a lot of damage taken. Oh, oh, the Oracle, no. Oh, kill? Oh, almost. Oh my god, that's a kill. That is should a kill. Should be, should be. You need to get it. Oh my god. Nope, That never is mind. so unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, it is Okay, we take this, though, because that means the Oracle is not going to be able to harass for a long time. You can skip spores until, like, 4.30 or something. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, oh, and there's gonna be a second oracle after that void ray. Void ray or use prismatic alignment to mow down this, this overlord. This is looking like yep. battle. This is looking for like battle toss. We have like with uh, twilight. Oh, yeah. There's no forge. Okay, no, forge is a forge. You should be adding gateways, right? And then oh, there might gas the something. Yeah, right we're, now. Gonna, we're gonna wait for gas. Yeah, we're for gas. We're gonna chill. I think they are going to probe a little bit, add the gates slowly after the upgrades. And then you do your six gate timing. 
into a fourth base or into more gas and you tech up to CIA. Yeah. Or, Let's see the second you know, Oracle. Base, something like this. Second Oracle coming in. We'll scout the bailing there. So we're going to go for a safety trap. That's to cancel. That is a fast base, base though. though. Uh, five minutes is or like four, oh, never mind it's like 4 30. Uh, yeah, could, like, could be like uh Nikic is actually known for well at least i know him for a couple of like aggression uh, cheeky cheeky aggressive uh plays sometimes yeah. in all-ins i think uh i think he all in against like aluton's reactive uh kind of rush on equilibrium once mm. That's still like okay. one of my my most viewed. I think that's my actually my most viewed uh, mouse cast video. I totally okay. recommend uh, everybody that that video. Although it's like a huge Only? MMR discrepancy, it was such a fun yeah, series. Yeah, we found it like four, four or five or something. Oh uh, no, he's actually five, five to two, I believe. So he's GM. So okay. Oh, this worker is actually taking a lot of damage. I don't know if that was worth it, like a bit yeah. of chip damage onto that. What uh, brain latch. upgrade after bailing nests and no tech after lair? Yeah, oh, that's oh, wait, interesting. Tech after lair. I'm gonna guess. Hydro oh. Tech. A bit of a oh, wait, scramble here with the lanes and the stalkers. Battery of the charge will be yeah. activated. Okay, this is. And it is hydro. Okay, the Ling Bane Hydra. Yeah. I suppose, but I like more focus on Hydras. Maybe yeah, I'm not sure about the Ling upgrade. Yeah, me neither. Like it, it looks like I don't think it's a misfit though. It should not be a misfit, right? It's forcing these no. Lings to actually tank the the whole battery. So he depletes the battery, tries to go in into the natural as well. He's gonna have a pylon in his way. Which means that there's no way out for any units that are being worked in inside or finished inside, but like, oh, that sounded pretty aw awful. Never mm -hmm. mind. Scrap that. <laughs> oh, and look at that. Both robots are form actually form outside. Oh, that's a quick hot lurker. Okay. Yeah. And we're gonna need a scout because this is Robo Bay, and the Robo Bay, when you're playing Lingmin Hydra, if it's Robo Bay, you're in deep, deep trouble. Infestation pit has been scouted, by the way. Yeah, we're gonna need very quick hive if we want any uh, chance. Of lurker then is still unscouted, perfect. by the way. So, hive is on the way and charge. Okay, I mean that's pretty much standard to, to have charge in each match. So nothing too fancy there. A couple of cannons are being worked in. So some static defense, and we're gonna have double colossus production. Colossus is here. Can we kill the army? I feel like the army supply is very low for Protoss. Yeah, if this yeah. is like this is probably the, the best timing before the Colossi actually pop out and like literally after Hydra upgrade, uh, Hydra speed has finished. So Nikki just doing mm -hmm. a bit of an anti timing, but that's a perfect timing as well. Uh, if that makes yeah, sense. Actually, taking out the Colossus is massive. Ooh, there is no AoE oh, oh, in sight. Both Robos have died. What does Protoss have yeah. here? 22 army supply is left. Nothing. Yeah. They're dead. We're going to this match. <laughs> We're casting another game. <laughs> Let's go. A couple of. Uh, yeah, you can continue to all in at this point. As, as long as you maintain a big enough Hydra, Hydra force. Yeah, 12 Hydras. There's more Hydras than there's like Protoss units. Non worker Protoss units. And there's the GG. Yeah. GG. What a straightforward game. Yeah. Straightforward. <laughs> straightforward. We were yeah. actually surprised about that. Uh, Very rage clean upgrade. defense early game into big timing attack. And yeah. that's just too strong. Like, as the Protoss, you either need to greed and get into quick AoE, or like you need to scout in this matchup. You need to react to the composition. Oh, yeah. Even definitely. though you can bully people with just your like good macro. So. If you don't pressure at all, that's what happens as a Protoss. Like, you just get bullied by, like, a random layer timing. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to move on to game number five. And we're back with game number five of this clan war. We're going to distance. So let's see who is going to take it. First of all, the map is going to be Amphion. Personally, I don't like this map. But for ZVZ, I guess it's almost whatever let's see how these two players are going to pair up against each other 
In the top left side, we are looking at the main hatchery of our Green Zerg from the 3D clan. His second appearance in GG Machine. And in the bottom of Amphion, clutching for his team, forcing the ace match and now playing the ace match. Trying for the ultimate comeback, it is Nikish. For heroes. Yeah, platinum heroes. I'm terrible. Uh, oh, it's, it's, that was actually really good. Anyway, don't, don't the hash on both say. guys. <laughs> Anger. Let's go. Yeah, Let's read off exactly. Yeah, this map is massive. You can't really attack. You have the wall. You can play two hatch and mine out the back to have a third. Oh, uh, yeah, because you have this center line. side. Actually, uh, oh, yeah, because you yeah. need to make too much of a detour. If those two debris walls would not be here, like this one and this one, then it would be quite a, a short rush distance, mm -hmm. I believe. But since you have yeah. to, like, take at least a bit of detour, then just, you know... That's a pretty big map as well. It's difficult to play on. It's I'm not wide. sure. Uh, like, it's, it's funny. The first, like, six or seven matches that I played, it's probably I, I never actually used, like, anything like that, that gold base or the top uh, top left or top right. Uh, sorry, bottom right. So, yeah, top, that's top usually right my four. Right, yeah. Because it's, it's annoying to kill left with Herons. They basically can't reach it. <laughs> Which one? The, um, the high ground one? No, no, the low ground one. They're oh, like the all ground. the way in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because they, they just can't get to, the, to it. I feel like it's too far. That might uh, be wrong, Yeah, of it depends. You can also take the high ground one and push your creep. It's pretty good as well. Uh, in this matchup, I'm like... I Right now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like mining out the minerals and taking the triangle is probably the best base. Yeah, I see uh, quite a lot of players do that nowadays. Uh, they try to take that. Yeah. Because the, the line one, it feels like it's super vulnerable to getting uh, concaved. Yeah. Like if they yeah, take the high like ground it. and then if they steal the high ground from you, it's really hard to hold. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like right. that's the, the biggest problem with the with the line turd. Because mm. it's going to be vulnerable to some attacks like and it's you need to have like overlords on top of that ramp and, and stuff like that or something to provide vision so you know if if there's intentions to actually take it but other than that i th think i prefer the I, I think it's more like natural to take this uh line dirt than mining out these minerals yeah it's the mining out is mostly if you play two base roach or something like that oh yeah because you don't have time if you do it you, you do like a three ashling thing yeah, we did uh, we we actually need to like, play on both sides. Yeah, maybe with the 1515 you can actually like start mining it out, but you also need to micro properly and all that stuff. Well, the 15 with 1515 you play to hatch. Oh yeah, but you you do you take do that best and then you just play to hatch. Like yeah. or you play with gas and you just to hatch and play to hatch roach. Yeah, that's um, also true. Yeah. We also have the fast roach one on both sides. This is very new meta. Okay, killing me. Like, is that like three lanes. super fast? Like 330, I believe? Yeah, it's not they, extremely you used fast. to go 330 upgrade and then later Rotorn, but now we got reversed because a lot of people all in into Mutas. And oh, yeah. also because you want to defend all ends, you kind of get this fast Rotorn so you can play the Roachling Bane and it's, it, it stabilizes the game a lot. See, that's, that's why I need you here, Haruko. You have such a, a huge brain that... I just watch like Rambo follow. talk and I'm like, and I yeah. just say the same thing and people are like, wow, you're so smart. Like, yeah, it's so yeah true. but like, you know, it depends like how much you memorize as well. Because you're very analytical and I love you so I much. I memorizing the reason why you do things because if I don't, I just don't remember them. Yeah. Okay, spine crawler. Okay, blind spines. We're scared of two roaches. Yeah, it could potentially be big more. Big out. Actually, big fake out from GG Machine. And he's gonna go into 50, 50, 60 drones. Oh, that's actually huge. Yeah, okay, yeah. we cancel this. Point. Let's go. And now we counter push, but... Is he gonna be able to pressure enough to get his drone count up? Because we have a 10 drone gap right now. Yeah, make a chance to, to somehow pull off the quote-unquote miracle 
harasser. Okay, the lair is faster though. Okay. We have faster speed rush. Yeah, okay. the Roadstone is gonna be just a tad bit faster for GG Machine, but yeah, the road speed is gonna be quite big. Uh, road speed still not started, although, okay, never mind, now it starts. It's yeah. gonna be a solid, we... like, 25 seconds late. Yeah, we fixed the drone counter, which yeah. is really good. Now there's a couple more spawning in the now, back. Is... No, we can snowball, let's go. Uh, let's go any -ish. Yeah, I th think you can, yeah. Looks like it. Okay, take some workers, free, free. Ooh, and even like minor go. Nice. This is actually pretty solid on the side of Mikish, so. Yeah. These are the like super tiny skirmishes you'd never see at low level. Everybody panics and slams the, the unit key really hard. Yeah, it's gonna be like, oh, like, oh my okay. god, and then you just all in. Yeah, and, and you realize like, oh, but I made units, like, I, I had units and I made more units, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did some damage Both with my fine. units, I made more units, and when I moved across the map, like, he, like, yeah, you never actually, you know, did anything with your, your initial units, didn't harass yeah. anything, you didn't fix your oh, you know, count. You forgot to scout, and then there's 40 roaches, where you have two roaches, and you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have the back and forth at all. Oh, this is actually okay, nice. Hunting massive, yeah, big. massive supply block on the side of uh, yeah. GG Machine. We're gonna have a finally. We're gonna hit the mid game where you got your overspeed, you upgrade, and you're gonna try to multitask each other to death. Oh yeah. I wouldn't Which even mind if I would see like drops. Easy. Yeah, Some I really like drops. drops. I can go burrow roach. Let's go. Oh yeah, okay. uh, Nick, uh, we hold this. We, I think we've seen that as well from, from Ari's story. Oh, nice life on another overlord, like this is massive. Like every single overlord it's this really is... It's really annoying. That's it 400 kills a lot minerals of, uh, down. Yeah, yeah, it kills a lot of minerals, which is super annoying. Huge scout on the double we... eagle. Okay, big transfer. Yeah, we're transferring drones. Around this time, your main is going to mag out, so you should be transferring to your fourth, and you keep your low 66 road uh, drone count. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is massive. Nikic actually using the what ability? Do you call it contain? Is, is, it contain? is it contain or what? What do you call that? <laughs> I, I, the the overlord, uh, sorry, the overseer ability that. Oh, uh, contaminate. Yeah, contaminate. Oh, that's that. Yeah, yeah. Contaminate. it slows the it freezes yeah. a building's uh, production, production or whatever. Yeah. So it's actually funny. It doesn't stop planters from attacking. <laughs> By the way, it only stops, yeah, yeah, it only stops the SCV production. By the way, we mentioned uh, we mentioned that the plus, uh, like the upgrade, the attack upgrade, upgrade was a bit, yeah. bit faster no, inside the GG machine. Great. They both started as fast as possible with plus two, and Nikic's plus two will finish a bit faster okay. even. So I'm gonna say I'm seconds. a huge fan of Nikic. He's playing exactly like I play. He's stacking a little bit harder, lower drone down planks. It's kind of safe. Oh, that's. Ooh. Yeah, he's creating movement, and I think he's gonna try to win the game. He's gonna win the game through the Burrow Roach. If he splits this into oh, two, I love the split. I love the split. Oh, okay, we, don't, we need to not lose the main army. Yeah. Okay, run, 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 run. In the meantime, oh, that's still a couple oh, of. Oh, we got uh, a Roach as well. Nice couple of Burrow Yeah, we got a drop, drop work. Okay, Burrow Roach was split for. Perfect. Oh, Sixteen yeah. drone kills. Okay, here mission not dying. Yeah. You need to max out on the roach as fast as possible. Oh, the roach is heading into the chaos. main. Six roaches into the main. Couple getting cleaned up into the natural. Yeah, you need to split them, burrow and split them. Oh, but look at the. Be as long as possible. <laughs> look at the uh, thirty uh, close to thirty drones. Thirty mark has been hit. Thirty two. Yeah. So this now is... you need to drain the bank. Of a GG machine, which is already done, and here you need to let the army not snowball. Yeah, the problem is GG machine is maxed out, so that's a solid 150 army supply. Let's see if he has enough. Both players are actually trying to just micro a bit better, but Nikic can actually pull a couple of drones. Obviously, he has more drones, so here he can afford to lose a couple. But does he have enough here to defend? Oh, please don't get snowballed. Oh, he's gonna get snowballed. Uh, not like this. Yeah. Despite basically killing all those, uh, all those units, he does yeah, not have enough armor. Yeah, it's dangerous to kill workers in this matchup. Um, 
If you can't hold, it's yeah, very dangerous. This is, looking, oh, okay. this is looking like it's over, sadly, for the Platinum Heroes, but... More he E-Worker, already Roaches on the side of GG Machine. Yeah, it's it's gonna be an impossible task to hold it. That is quite sad. And the Robo, the Repulsion. Yeah, this is over, sadly. sadly. Killing workers in this yeah. matchup can be very dangerous in the late game. You need to be very careful because you free up supply and it's a matchup where the, the army is so cheap, you can operate on like 50 drones. Yeah, you literally just, you know, have this uh, supply inefficient uh, roach that you max out very fast on. Like you have mm -hmm. a couple of them and then if you free up supply, then there's going to be obviously a bank. And as the drones fall, you just prepare for a huge all-in wave. And if you don't have something that specifically counters that, which is very rarely in, in time or in position. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's you need else. them like in, in massive numbers. It is what it is. We, we've we learned as well. And it was a fun cast. Mm -hmm. And thank you for joining for these last two games. This was a fun no one. Problem. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested in this wonderful French Frenchman, then... <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, then be sure to check out his Twitch in the description. Hopefully, he's gonna stream randomly here and there once he gets Surely a desk. I'll stream. <laughs> Surely, I'll stream. Yeah, once I get a desk. <laughs> I kind of want to do. Uh, I want to do S rank uh, in all the mission of uh, Almond Core. So oh, nice. I'll probably do some of that. I kind of want to stream some of that. And then, right. yeah, StarCraft, so probably I'll play. Nice. GG to the 3D clan and GG to the Platinum Heroes, of course. This was a sad loss, but I'm sure the heroes are not going to be that much uh, disappointed. They played a very, very cool match, so GG to both teams. Match for. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.